Get the fuck in. I don't care how bad the performance was. It's the result that matters now. Usually I would be saying the performance matters this season, but we've had three fantastic performances in a row. So, you know, it was about the result. It was about maintaining this form that we've got. And now... Spurs lost, Arsenal lost, City lost, well they got absolutely trashed by Liverpool and Leicester also dropped points. So the top four race is officially back on, we are back you twat. Literally, we are level with Manchester City, they have a game in hand, Arsenal are four points ahead of us, they have their North London derby next week. So if Spurs beat Arsenal and we win against West Brom, we're one point behind Arsenal and then we play Manchester City after West Brom, obviously we've got the Europa League with Liverpool both legs and the FA Cup against West Brom, but our, um, sorry against West Ham. But our next Premier League game after West Brom is Manchester City. Now that could be the time where we could overtake them in fourth. It is crazy. We were absolutely dominated in that game. Everything. Um, the tempo was faster for Watford. They were pressing us. They were creating chances. They had. So many, so many good clear-cut chances and they didn't put one away. And that was a resilient defence, a brilliant David De Gea. Yet again, how many times have we said that over the course of the last three years? Crazy. But uh, yeah, they missed so many sitters. Agarlo had three, four clear-cut opportunities. And I'm talking one-on-ones. I'm talking six, seven yards out. Just... Uh, you know, what What can you expect really when we have this makeshift defence? Uh, Fusa Mensa got his first, well, his debut, his full uh, game debut, and he played pretty well, to be honest. It looks as though he's not afraid of a challenge. He's only 18. I think he's our third youngest ever debutant in the Premier League. I think only Makeda and Phil Neville were younger uh, playing in the Premier League. He's literally just about 18, I think he's 60 days and 18 years or something like that uh, on the start and he played very very well, he got a, a pretty rash yellow card but he played well in the defence, obviously it's makeshift though he's partnering Daily Blint, he, he played really poor this season, he's been pretty underrated this season but today he was terrible, Varela didn't have the greatest of performances but he was good going forward, um, and Rojo was solid enough going forward, a bit like Varela, but he was making defensive errors. So we gifted Watford so many chances, but at the end of the day, they couldn't take them. And maybe they should have had a penalty in the 75th minute. Uh, I think Domian, when he was subbed on for Do uh, for Rojo, he was wrestling basically with Prodel. He should have scored anyway, but he didn't. So maybe, well, we were very lucky this game, but sometimes you create your own luck. And we certainly did. It, it was just... It was out of nothing. It was a little bit of brilliance from Martial, skipping past a couple of players, forcing a foul, and then we get a free kick. Memphis had just hit the wall 20, 30 minutes ago with a free kick that was on the other side, just outside the box. This time, Mata steps up, left foot, and it, it's just delightful. It's a, it, it's quite a powerful free kick from just outside the box, and it, you know it's one of those that dips over the wall. It's a, it's a usual free kick that you see just outside the box. Fantastic, one nil, and we showed that we can win. What we can grind out a result again, which is something we haven't done against the lower teams. Usually, we would have bottled this. Like earlier in the season, Watford would have put their chances away. Um, we would have bottled it. We just would have not been the same, but we've got a little bit of a resilience. Rashford looked really, really good as well, particularly in the second half when he was actually getting the ball. He was doing what Martial does, running to the touchline, taking on a couple of defenders, crossing it uh, in, or taking a... Sh no, he didn't take a shot, did he? I don't think he had a shot today, but uh, he, he was great in other aspects. Um, I think... We, we did have a fair few shots on target, well, not on target, but uh, in the second half with Matt uh, Memphis, well, his shooting was pretty poor, but he was good in other areas, particularly at the end of the game. He can hold out a game very well. He's holding the ball at the corner for about five minutes at the end of the game, which is useful because it helped us to hold on to the win. And, um, yeah, all in all, it's just one of those games where you gain confidence from it because you weren't the better team but you won, and considering all of our other rivals, bar Liverpool, obviously, who are behind us, lost, well, the four teams above us all lost, well, dropped points, Leicester being the only one that drew, the other three lost, it gives us confidence, and this is the type of, this is the type of uh, weekend where the results go your way, and you can see a momentum swing, now, obviously, the Premier League is nowhere near ended, there's 10 games left, so we just need to do the best we can and try and cement a place in that top four. It's it's possible now. It really is. Uh, the mentality at City getting hammered by Liverpool could go down. And if we beat them at the Etihad, 
then you know that could be a huge momentum swing. You've got Arsenal looking really, really depressed. They've got Spurs next, then Barcelona. It doesn't get easier for them. Um, Spurs, obviously, it, it, it's kind of depending on what the North London derby is. If Arsenal win, maybe that'll boost them. If Spurs win, maybe it'll boost them. Spurs will still be ahead no matter what, I think, on goal difference, unless Arsenal win like 4-5-0. But... It, it, it's just going to be very interesting. It depends on so many results, but all we can do is keep grinding out results, keep, well, hopefully up the performances a bit, because although I said it's the result that matters, obviously it is, but we need to play like we did against Arsenal more consistently. I mean, credit to Watford, they closed us down everywhere, and they were very unlucky to not take a point. They deserved all three. Didn't get it. I'm rambling now, but anyway, we've won. I'm delighted. Everyone above us has dropped points, so yes, let's try our best and get in that top four.